In Fox 5 Health News, summer fun can come with a price. We're talking sunburns, ticks, mosquito-borne viruses. So how do you best protect your kids? All right, joining us now, Dr. Doris Day, clinical associate professor at NYU Medical Center. And obviously, we've got to take care of the skin, and you got to start early. This is true. Going to the beach should be fun and not stressful, but there is so much to worry about for parents of young kids. Now we know that when you apply sunscreen to a child, they should be six months or older. Mm -hmm. Under six months, you try to keep them out of direct sunlight. Mm -hmm. Once they get older, then you can use physical sun protection or any sun protection of an SPF 30 or higher and reapply it regularly because exposure is cumulative over time. Right. Every exposure counts. And just one blistering sunburn in childhood can double your risk of melanoma oh. later in that life. That makes me want to relive my whole life because <laughs> we didn't the things even we think, didn't think about, about this then. stuff. Yeah. I 30 know years ago, you weren't even about it. No, well, we can't all. go back, but even if you start now, it makes a difference. So it's mm -hmm. not too late to start. Good, good. No, but no, the no, other sure. problem is now with mosquitoes and insects and worrying about bug bites and ticks. So now we're also worried about insect repellents. You can use DEET or picaridin over two months old. So it's not you as... You can use that yeah, on young ones. Okay. Over two months old, but oil of lemon eucalyptus, they should be older than three years old. Even though that sounds more organic right, and natural, organic, you should yeah. be older for that because there can be some toxicity. But sunscreen and insect repellents don't play well together. What happens oh, really? is that the insect repellent can make the sunscreen up to 30% less effective, so you have to apply it more often. And if you apply them at the same time, the sunscreen will make the insect repellent stronger and absorb better into the skin. So you need to give it five to 10 minutes. You put your sunscreen on, yep. wait 10 minutes, then the insect repellent. Yep. And for children, you can use 10 to 30% only on areas that they really need. Yeah. And then only once a day, typically, so about 30% will last five to six hours. Reapply the sunscreen more often, but don't keep reapplying the insect repellent. Seems like, you know, with the kids at the beach now, they've got the, the long sleeve shirts. I love those shirts, shirts they right? wear. Like yes, neon that colors is so and good. You thing. can buy sun protective clothing, yeah. and that's exactly that a sense, great right? point. That, you don't have to worry about the whole mess of putting yeah, it's on. It's got to be so right? stressful for parents wearing right. totally, their kids' no, in the Just sun. stay inside. It really <laughs> is. All right, well, we've got some great news here, too, about the health benefits of watermelon. Experts say, despite the misconception that it's mostly sugar and water, which is what I thought. I figured this was the emptiest calories on earth. Mm. It's actually packed with nutrients. And I mean, what on earth is better than watermelon in the summer? It is so good. When you're hot from a run or mm -hmm. just being yes. outdoors by the pool, a bite in, with your sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Nothing more delicious than an ice cold slice of watermelon. Mm -hmm. And the great news is that about one cup of diced watermelon only has about 45 calories. It has antioxidants, vitamin A, C, B, wow. potassium, and lycopene. And if it's a seedless type and it's more red, yep. it actually has more lycopene. And this type of lycopene that's also in tomatoes, but in watermelon, it's very well absorbed into the body. Oh, so it's okay. really Really, really That's good an for you. Anti -cancer, anti and even though it seems like it's all sugar, it's actually because there's so much water and fiber. It has what's called a low glycemic load, which means that that fiber and water helps it be absorbed more slowly, so it's not as oh. much of a stress for insulin on your body. Mm. And that makes it really healthy. And it's only about 45 calories a cup. So I'm in. it's a great so It's making my mouth cups. water. If you have the whole watermelon, You're not a problem. Cup. Well, don't do that. But it, and it's also <laughs> filling because of all the fiber. So if, once you have about two cups, you feel satisfied. And that is the thing. Fiber, yeah, you have these smoothies and you're not full because there's no fiber and it's yep. all sugar and it spikes and it's like worse yep. than anything. But this is the opposite of and that. And it's also one way to eat your water because it has so much water yeah. that you also get hydrated from it. So it's more good than bad. That's great. Antioxidants, fiber, hydration. Good for you. Love it. Enjoy it. Good. Finally, something from our youth not being taken <laughs> yeah. from us as we get older. Thanks, Thank you, Dr. Happy for that. Happy for it. All right, so right now, we're